Okay, um, let me take a look. So, are you familiar with this type of equations? Uh, yes, a little. Okay, um... We start with the first one, right? Yeah, I just want, like, I want to, like, go over it and just make sure I, ha I understand, like, each type of the equation there is. Okay, um, just give me a moment that I take a screenshot. So okay. I can put it on the board. The first one is the easiest one. That's correct. Okay. Um, then for the second one, I think the second one is not valid because you cannot have a negative value. Yeah. As, so that one um, has no solution, I'm pretty sure. Exactly. Okay. Yes. And then we have Q minus 8 inside of the absolute value equals 14. So for okay. that one, we have to do a little bit more. What do we have to do? Okay, so first we write it down. And now we have two options. The okay. first one is we keep it positive. Everything's positive, so we don't change signs. So Q minus 8 equals 14. Okay. And then we have the other option, which is minus Q minus 8, equals just like words. this. Yes, exactly. So we bring down the bars and then we make two different types of equations, a negative and a positive one. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. So we can try to solve it or we can... Go on. We are... To pass minus 8 to the other side adding so I'm going to do that so 14 plus 8 how much is that uh, that would be 22 that's that, that's correct okay okay so first answer is 22. Let's see for the first one. So first we do distributive property. So we're going to have minus Q plus 8 equals 14. Okay. And then do we subtract? Because the first one we added, this one we're going to subtract. I'm pretty sure. Is that what we Yeah. Said? Minus 6. Okay. So... So now we have something that's outside of the absolute value, which is minus 4, and that is multiplying. So what we do is we, yes, we divide by minus 4 on both sides. Uh, 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 uh. Like all the numbers or, or like on the other side, on the main side with the bars, do we divide every number by negative 4 or just the negative 4? Just the negative 4. Okay. So, these cancel each other out and we end up having 8 minus 5n inside of the absolute value equals minus 13 over 4. Because the f 4 makes the fraction negative, right? Exactly. Okay. So now we have the same form as we had on exercise 3. So we have a, we have a negative has no, has no solution also. Well, negative, value, negative value. For example, minus 4, here you, some, here you, something happened. What did you say? Yes. On both sides and then we bring it down to this and that's our final answer. Yes. Okay, that's what I was doing. Make sure. And because it's a negative, it automatically 
Yes, and we will be able to because we have. So, so now we're going to do the same as before. We're going to divide by minus 3 on okay. both sides. So, how much is the two possible solutions. So for absolute value, we always have two solutions. We have to do two solutions, a negative solution and a positive solution. Yeah, that's it. The absolute value bar is make it, okay. So, um, we solve as we usually do. Okay. So this is going to be, first we get rid of 1 and we pass it to the other side subtracting. Divide by minus 2 over 3. Yes, so what we did is we took this fraction, we passed it dividing to the other side since it was multiplying b and then we solved it. We flipped it around so we could do the division, then we cancelled the two out and then we, okay, let's see the other solution. So first we apply distributive, so we have minus 1 plus 2 over 3, b equals 3. Okay. So now we add 1 instead of subtracting, as we did before. Okay, so 2 over 3, v equals 4? Yes. Okay. So now we multiply by 3, 4 times 3, which is 12. And then we divide by 2. So we end up having 12 divided by 2. That's 6, right? Yes. So minus 3 and 6 are the possible solutions. Okay. Let's... 